Hello guys, in this video we are going to design a modern business flyer using Microsoft PowerPoint. We are going to launch Microsoft PowerPoint. So we are going to start by clicking on the default brand presentation. So our default brand presentation is here. The first thing we are going to do, we are going to change the default size of our slide into an A4. So we we'll go to design, a design at the right hand edge of the page, we we'll go to slide size, then we we'll click custom slide size. A window will appear and we we'll go and select A4 paper. Then we we'll choose portrait and click OK. We are going to select ensure fit. So our default slide size have been changed into an A4, which we are going to use to design our modern business flyer. So we are going to start by deleting all the text box present. So the first thing I will do, I will insert my image, my background image of the flyer. So I go to insert picture this device. Since I have the picture already in my device. So I choose the world map instead. I'm going to align it directly. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make use of some geometry shapes. So I'm going to insert and choose the ellipse or the oval shape. Then I resize it. Going to modify the shape outline to no outline. I'm going to modify the shape color later. So the second thing I'll do is to copy the shape and paste in it. That is, I do a duplicate of the shape and I reduce the size. Then what I'll do is I'll change the shape field so that I can align it to fit on my design. We can preview our design directly on the slide so we can resize and see how it look like in the design. So what I'll do next, I'll insert another oval shape. So I'll go to shapes, oval shape. I draw another oval shape, but smaller inside. And scale it down. We can preview already our design here. So I'm going to shape fill. Go to picture. I'm going to scale my picture to the appropriate size. to fill and offset so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to format and ensure that my shape has no outline and do same for the other shape so the next thing is to change the fill and go to gradient fill change the color choose yellow then I choose orange choose yellow again and I choose orange and I'll change the angle to 140 degrees and I do same for the other shape for this one I'll go to more colors take the deep orange color I'm going to add a drop shadow to the second and the third shape. So I'm done with my shape. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go to insert and choose shapes. Then I'll go to basic shape and choose a chord. And I'm going to draw the chord over my document. Or it and resize. Send the shape to back and make it to be on top of the map so I'll send the map to back so you can preview our design here already now click on the shape go to shape format shape outline and ensure there is no outline shape field I choose the black texture one 
Tuesday that color. So you can preview our design directly here already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to insert the text. So I'll go to text box. Change the font type into Adobe Gothic STD B and increase the size. Now that our text is present, we can see our design is already coming to life. So the next we are going to do, we are going to insert the design at the bottom. So we go to insert, go to shape field, and go to flowchart and choose flowchart document. We will rotate. After rotating, we flip horizontal after rotating. align it you can see how it look right on our design here you can see so i'm going to align it appropriately once aligned we're going to change the fill and choose gradient fill that's our first gradient fill set the angle to 90 We'll go to shape outline and ensure there is no outline 
then we duplicate our shape back up in our paste rotate it slightly and change the gradient duplicate the, our shape again make sure it aligns properly change the gradient of the dead shape So we can see our design already but the stage shape is not present. So now it's present, we are going to align the shapes. We can preview our design by doing a slideshow. That's our design that we have already. It's already pretty good. So we are going to align the content again appropriately we are doing the finishing touches so we are going to add the social media icon so we are going to insert an elite to select all our shapes and go to align and align medium Our design is already looking good, so we just need to align the content appropriately. So our design is already awesome. So now we have to do some color adjustments. We can see our flyers already ready. So the next thing to do is to export it. So to save our document as an image, we'll go to file, then we'll go to export, and export we'll go to change file type, choose JPEG, and we'll save as. Now we can preview our design. Thank you very much for watching, our design is pretty awesome. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and share the video.